Hello everybody. Welcome to Fight Business. So, I want to talk about the fight that just happened. John Bones Jones versus um, Cyril Gaon. I'm actually recording this. Uh, I'm actually recording this on a phone, on my phone, and my app that I have is uh, um, showing me a text of everything that I'm saying. It's literally dictating everything that I'm saying, and it's really bothering me. Um, I wish I knew how to like turn it off. It wasn't doing that last time. Anyway, um, I do gotta get this done though. I'll try to uh, ignore this. It's like literally in front of my face, and I feel like if I just turn it off, you know, the recording will just go better, and I'll focus more. But let's get back to the fight. By the way, guys, this is a raw discussion. Um, that means no editing, no script written. You know, this is just me talking to you guys. You know. All right. So let's talk about John Jones versus Cyril Gunn, The fight that happened. Um, very quickly, it just happened and just, you know, all just got done. So I just want to talk about the whole story. So this guy, John Bones Jones, you know, almost John Jones, you can almost like the name that he has, it, it, it's almost like a stage name, John Jones. And, and his first name, John, isn't even spelled with an H, which doesn't even make sense in English language. Why is there like an H? It's not even pronounced John. It's not pronounced John. You know, so, so like, you know, John and then Jones. So anyway, his name is pretty stage, uh, stage name, but you know, he doesn't, he's not all a stage type actor for the most part. He is, but like, not like Conor McGregor or anything. Anyway, but he's really, he's a really good fighter though. Um, he's got a lot of moves and he studies his opponents. He, um, watches their tape and a lot of times he uses their strengths to kind of, you know, basically defeat them, use their strengths against them, um, yeah, but he, uh, was doing this for a long time, and he was the youngest light heavyweight champion, and he kept on going, and, you know, a, a couple, a few, uh, a few of his fights, people were saying they were too close, uh, a few five-round fights, that's, uh, you know, uh, at least one or two, one I remember I watched live, and I thought that was so close, it was, I don't know, yeah, Dominic, uh, the other guy's name was Dominic something. Pretty sure it was Dominic. And this guy, he had like 10, 12 fights. And I thought he was just going to get beat. And, you know, he went all five rounds. And I was like, man, this guy might just get it. You know, like John Jones, this is it. John Jones era is over, man. This is all. And then he, he you know, the decision is, you know, against him. And, you know, uh, he, he loses. And that guy, Dominic, after that, he just, you know, his career has just been literally um you know um unfortunately for him has been just you know has just been a downfall since then um the young guy too but like it's pretty much over because of you know the, the losses that he has and the way that he lost those fights anyway but john jones kept on going he you know did his thing uh you know on the media and everything he's you know in always in the public eye for whatever reason but he's he's out there uh he stays relevant, whether it's on purpose or not. But, like, uh, that's not the topic of discussion. The topic of discussion today is the fight, um, which we'll get to in a moment. But um, he kept on going, taking long, long breaks, you know, not having, uh, uh, you know, a fight for, like, a year, two years. This time it was three years. And, you know, he, if you look at his record, he's got a nice, solid record. Solid record. He's got, like, 26, 27 fights, I think. I'm not sure. And he's only got one loss, and that was a DQ, which wasn't even a DQ because... You know, he was just, you know, tearing that... He was just just breaking that guy up. He was just uh, literally breaking him up. Breaking his face is what he was doing. With his elbow, he was breaking his face. You know, I would say, thank God they called the DQ on that because he was breaking his face. If you look at the footage, you know, it was it's just bad. But, like, this is fighting. This is UFC. You know, nowadays, not a lot of... Not a lot of fighters fight like that. And, you know, some fighters know that in their minds when they're fighting each other. And sometimes, you know, uh, you know, fighters can understand, you know, communicate mind to mind and say, okay, yeah, let's just go easy on this fight. But sometimes, you know, when you're like 21, 22 years old and you want all of it, that's what Johnny Bones Jones was at that time. And he, you know, he had just done like nine months of MMA training, got into MMA. He's like, this was it. This was it for him. You know, that was his world. He had like, a, I don't know if he had a daughter at that time or not, but 
that was it for him. So he's breaking faces for a living anyway. So so that's what he was doing, and he got a DQ. His record's pretty solid. Um, he's beat DC twice, and all of his thing about you know uh, all his thing about steroids and all that. You know that's uh, uh, you know uh, I don't know. I'm not a scientist. Um, uh, the whole thing about picograms, some say that it was too small, but I, I don't know. Maybe he did use steroids, but, uh, you know, I don't know. So, but is he the greatest of all time? That's a question that you guys have to go to uh, uh, at our community. This is a community, guys. I'm talking to you if you guys are listening to me. So that makes two of us a community. If there's, like, more people listening to me, that makes, like, more people, like, five of us a community. So go to the community page and answer the poll um, if you can. But um, so far, it has been decided uh, that John Jones is not the GOAT. Um, if you guys don't know what a GOAT is, I'll uh, put it in the uh, description, uh, what the GOAT is. I'll put it in the description box, uh, telling you guys about what the, the word GOAT is. Uh, moving on, the fight was very quick. He came, he looked a little fat. Um, he looked a little fat. But he was uh, he, he was very uh, aggressive. He kind of uh, I think uh, Cyril Gan was kind of gauging him while he just was gauging him as well. They were both gauging each other, and um, there was a shot thrown here and there. I think John 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 Jones was serious about his heavyweight championship, so he uh, kind of got him down a couple times and kind of controlled the fight. When he got him down a couple times, he had him controlled very nicely. He Gan was trying to get, get out. Try Gan was trying to get out of the situation. Um, but he couldn't, and then while he was just kind of wrestling him, just kind of controlling him in the ground, I, I had a couple of takedowns. He tried to get up one time. He took him down again. He just kind of like snuck his arm and kind of just kind of took a hold of his neck. Uh, whether it was over the chin or over the arm or whatever it was, he just kind of com- kept on compressing and compressing it as hard as he could. Looks like, um, and I think Ganja Gan just decided that um, he rather he rather just take the L and just breathe. And he tapped out, and that's what it. That's what happened. I'm so like bummed out that Francis Ngannou left the UFC. That's the fight that I wanted to see. That would have been so interesting. I would have loved to see it. I don't know why Francis left. I wish UFC paid him money. I just want to see some entertainment, okay? But um, you know, because if you John Jones looked fat today, um, you look at Francis Ngannou appearance wise. Um, that guy's got a six pack at like two forty pounds, but you know I know appearance doesn't really matter. You know, fat guys can beat up you know, uh, good looking uh, uh, physique guys. Why blah blah? You know, um, like I said, guys, this is all raw. This is me talking to you guys. So uh, appreciate all the support. But let's get uh, let's go to the end of this video soon since it has already been already a long video. Um, I really hope you guys listen to it. Um, I was talking about this fight, uh, about this fight on my channel, so go ahead and respond to those posts as well, and, uh, yeah, for him, you know, if you think about Bo- John Bones Jones, uh, he, his life is pretty good, whatever is happening, in terms of his career, at least, now he's a heavyweight champion, he was a light, light heavyweight champion, so he's a two-division champ now, I'm really sorry, guys, about the about any mistakes here it is late at night but i wanted to give you a, guys a instant raw uh discussion uh, a, an instant post fight discussion um yeah let, let me know what you let me know what you guys think put it put it all in the comments anything any questions comments suggestions and as always thank you thank you guys for your time have a good day